Hey, hey, I'm Joni of the Happy Selectors. I'm going to show you what we sold this week on eBay. It was actually a pretty shocking week and phenomenal. I'm very, very happy with it. And I want to share just some of the stuff the last couple of days. It's like it really exploded and took off. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, finally. Can we keep doing that? That would be great. Anyway, check it all out and let me know what you think. And some of the stuff I should be looking out for that I don't know about. That would be great. And make sure you do the comment thing, like, subscribe, share, blah, blah, blah. You know, I'm trying to grow this channel. And if you don't know who I am, also, I'm Keto Diamond. And I help people lose weight. <laughs> My other job saves lives. Because that's the important one. But it don't pay a lot. Anyway, <laughs> um, check out Keto Diamond on YouTube if you're interested in how I lost 155 pounds. And I did it with that diet or exercise and got rid of 29 di medically diagnosed diseases. If the link ain't below, I don't think the link is below. But anyway, it's Keto Diamond Channel. It's not hard to find. Alright you guys, so the first thing that I'm going to show you is this cookie jar from Crackle Barrel. Really cool one. I really like it. I think I paid like 8 bucks and some change for it and sold it for 25 I had it listed for $34.99, but it's been up there for a while. Not going to lie, terrified to ship this. But might as well go ahead and pull the trigger and do it because just gotta hope it makes it. Cookie jars do not ship well. Um, all right, then this shot glass. I paid somewhere between one or two dollars for it. It's a cheers of Boston shot glass. Jake, come on, you know when I got the camera on. This sold for $8.88. Uh, not a lot, but you know, it's a shot glass. This beautiful Fenton bowl, hubby paid two dollars for it at the flea market. It sold for 40. That thing is so gorgeous. Um, this little apothecary jar, I don't remember what I paid for it. I did get $10 out of it. I paid somewhere between one and three, and of course. All right, last but not least, this fossil purse. It's fantastic, absolutely love it. Great made, just, it's great. Now, it's not the kind of profit margins you usually wanna see. I paid like $10.70 for that and got 21. But, you know, sometimes so that's this sold so far so my goose set finally sold I got 15 out of it I was asking 19 but it was free and I got no use for it I thought it would make a cute little country kitchen set and somebody agreed and grabbed it up so this nice set of large false grass false craft mugs um, beautiful really they are I had them listed for 17 they sold for 15 not gonna argue with that at all sorry but my finger getting in the way this beautiful anchor hawking candy dish sold for $24.99 those are just so gorgeous and it's got that great spider web pattern especially on the base of it on the bottom Let's see if I can pull that photo up real fast and show you there you go such an intricate and beautiful design I actually had a piece of jadeite like this and I sold it for 30 but it was just the bottom and it had a, it had some kind of damage on the bottom of it, which was listed, but I sold it at the flea market for 30, so that's still excellent. More Fire King, these two great soup bowls with the handles, it's got this peach lusterware beehive pattern. Uh, these were new, they'd never even been used, they still had the stickers in the bottom of both of them. I had them listed for 12, I think I sold them for like 9.50. Again, not something I'm gonna argue with, although it wasn't very much profit, because I think I paid $2 a piece for them. Um, but I had them listed for a long time because it wasn't soup season yet. Now that it's soup and coffee season, well, well, they flew out the door. This was an amazing thing. I absolutely loved it. I, the material I didn't care for, which I can't show you now, but this is a Sacroots bag and I had a Sacroots wallet. I didn't get them at the same time. They don't exactly match, but they were close enough. And I listed them together, told the people, you know, it was kind of, but not. And it had this great owl, um, this, uh, dangly thing on it. <laughs> it said Sacroots. I sold it for thirty-seven eighty-eight. I think I paid like $5 and some change for it. But, I mean, you know, it's Sacroots. And it has this great owl thing going on here. So since I'm showing them to you on the webpage, it's because I've already boxed them out. Boxed them up and shipped them out. This is a red lobster uh, jar thing. Uh, it also had measuring things on it. It's a really great one. Beautiful, beautiful, thick glass, crystally like. I don't really know. I think I paid two, three dollars for it. Got eighteen forty nine out of it. I'm not gonna argue with that. Haha. <laughs> this one sold today. 
Oh, you know what? I haven't boxed that up. Let's go get it and show them to you. All of that I just showed you was so prior to prior to uh, Monday. Now today though has been a fantastic eBay day. Let me show you the things that have sold today. So pretty decent day. Hubby sold three um, Power Ranger masks. Yeah. And what's he? A Halo character. Yeah. And a Halo character. So that's pretty cool. Oh, she was your background. I was gonna show your babies, grandbabies. <laughs> Atreus is still missing. We ain't got a new one. But uh, it turned off. All right, so this just sold. I had it listed for nine, sold it for eight. Um, mainly, I had it listed for nine and a little bit low because I did notice some wear on it after I had bought it um, or after I'd started taking the photos for it to list. So I listed it pretty low so that it would go ahead and sell. I've got a couple really other great ones, but. Um, yeah, I noticed some damage on them too. I guess, you know, I just couldn't see as good as I wanted to or I didn't know, look at them as good as I wanted to. But, yeah. But it sold. Eight bucks. Not a hell of a profit since I paid $2.14 for it. I got to pay taxes on it. I got to pay eBay fees. Got to buy envelope. And got to take it to the shipping office. So, all in all, might have made a book or two on it. Uh, it happens. One of my favorite finds. This bottle is a nice large decanter style bottle. Now I did list that this problem, there was a problem with it, that the plastic piece is cracked, although I did list it for a little lower than they can sell for, which is crazy to me because, you know. So these were selling without the stopper at all for over 60 and $70. With the stopper, some of them were selling up to 169 to $215. It is made in Italy. All the way around it, it's got the Zodiac signs on it. You got the Pisces. Um, I don't know all the Zodiacs, but I do know there's Scorpion. There's the, um, the wait, which one is that? I know one of y'all know without a problem whatsoever. Mm, kind of naked lady. <laughs> I know that there's the twins. There they are. Um, but yes, yeah, the, the Zodiac signs, the bull. It's such a great bottle. So, yeah, that's sold for $105. Not bad considering I paid $1 at a flea market for it. Honestly, I, I felt bad about paying $1 for it. And I, I even asked the, the older fellow that was selling it, are you sure? He's like, yeah. I was like, a dollar. He's like, yeah, yeah, a dollar. I was like, are you sure? Because <laughs> that was kind of the nicest thing on his table. He had, well, I mean, okay, the other stuff was very nice. But it was clear glass. It was some of it was crystal, cut glass, uh, very nicer pieces. But this was still by far the nicest thing on his table, and everything he was selling for a dollar. So I bought it, um, and it sold today for a hundred and five bucks. Fantastic! Today again has been a fantastic eBay day. Um, this is all sold in the same day with the other stuff. Which is, I mean, we've never sold this much before, but I am so grateful and happy. These two things are uh, listed as antique candle holders. They are brass. They are fantastic. I had these listed for 42 and some change. Sold them for 30 because that was a good offer. I just went ahead and said, you know, we need the money. Why not? And 30 is a decent price for these. I think I paid 2 to $3 a piece for these. Not real positive, but still a good profit margin. This little small box, we probably paid one to three dollars for this. I really don't know. I can't open it one handed, but it sold for nine. And this little frog that I paid three dollars for at the flea market sold for nine. All in all, a good day. All right, so it's the next day, and hubby just sold this 18 wheeler for thirty dollars. It's a very nice die cast in it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Very pretty color too. It's it's plastic. Okay, but the truck is die cast. The truck looks die cast though. It's very shiny. Very pretty. And it's a very nice uh, toy, collector's item. It's a collectible. Collectible. I mean, it, I mean, kids can play with it, yeah, but most people buy it because it's a A grown man bought him a toy. That's what just happened, <laughs> which is awesome. And today also I sold this very cool clay um, over wood handmade box. It does open. It's just a really neat item. 
I don't remember how much. I think it was 16 bucks that that sold for. That's just fine. All in all, it's been a good day. It's a good couple of days. I'm going to ship this stuff out and hope for more sales. <laughs> Now let me show you some of the stuff that we do have that are, is getting ready to sell or be put on eBay or uh, will be up in the next day or so is already up. Check it all out. I'm going to try to link some of the stuff below so that you can see it if you want to. But the links to the eBay stores, both his and mine, are in the description. Plus ways to contact me. Somebody asked about my email address. My email address is always in the description section along with other ways to contact me and stuff. So please feel free to check it out and uh, enjoy. All right, y'all, I started to give up on this piece. I'm so, so glad I didn't. It sells for about 50 bucks. I knew it was something special, but I also kind of thought maybe it's just because I have a love for glass canisters. Yes, that has toy cats in it. Don't ask why. I don't know. Anyway, I have a love for glass canisters. Even the cheapy ones. That one might not even be cheapy. I hadn't even looked it up. But this one, I just felt like there was something special about it. But I started to say, you know what? probably not and I started to take it out to like the flea market and hope I could get five bucks out of it glad I decided to look this one up this is a 1920s high C um, vanity jar so great for lotions and potions and powders or whatever you want to do with it of course in the 1920s you probably shouldn't call them potions I was a little too close to being burned at the stake times so anyway <laughs> Um, I just, yeah, this lid was just telling me there's something super special about this jar to check. But at the same time, I was like, no, no, I'm just, it's just me. Um, but anyway, if you're interested, it's on eBay. I've heard of these, but I've never seen one until today. This is a chip and dip bowl. It's a three piece set. It's brand new in the box. They never even used it. Whoever had it last. It is so fantastic. This is Luminarch Crystal. Um, I, usually Luminarch is made in France. I didn't look at this one to see if that's where it was, but it, usually that's where it's made. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I mean, this would be perfect for just a, a, a normal party, but also for like a wedding or something really, really super special. It, it, I, did I say this was new in the box? <laughs> I took it out just so I could show y'all and see how it worked myself. How fantastic. All right, so pay no mind. Hubby's back there um, trying to list toys for Wilson's Treasures. And I just wanted to say that that chip and dip bowl, I looked it up online. It wasn't selling for as much as we thought it would, especially new in a box and crystal, Luminart crystal with that. So we took it out to the flea market. It sold for $15. Not horrible considering... We paid like five or six dollars for it not the greatest profit margins and even worse it's like one of the few things we sold all day that day so it was good but not enough <laughs> so i just bought this but it's gonna take me a month to untangle it all. Look at this. So I paid a good bit for this actually. I paid ten dollars for this, but this is a real Murano ashtray. Uh, well, they call them ashtrays, and yeah, of course you can use it for that. But who wants to use this? Oh my gosh, you guys! I fell in love with this Harry Potter mug. It is from two thousand. Two yeah, year two thousand. It is a Warner Brothers uh, official. Uh, Harry Potter mug spectacular it's fantastic I'm seeing sets of these people are asking for a set of four dollars $129, $130 for these well yeah that's asking price anyway but I got the Harry Potter one he's chasing the golden snitch if that ain't the important mug I'll eat my hat um, of the set anyway but this is fantastic I'm seeing people ask $29 um, so you know Halloween and everything's coming up Christmas is coming up too. Oh my God. Let's just shut up about that now. But this sucker is fantastic. I'm going to put it on eBay for $29 and just see what happens. Nothing might not happen. But tis the coffee drinking season, the hot chocolate season. So um, we're going to give it a shot. Plus, again, I just, oh my gosh, it's fantastic. It's in really great condition. No chips up here at the top at all. There is a little smidgen on the bottom there, but that does not affect it at all. 
you know, and it's probably from somebody putting it down too hard, but <laughs> anyway, it's in great condition otherwise, and I'm just in love. Who's up for a crystal skull? <laughs> this is a Luminar crystal skull mug, a pirate mug at that. Now, they did do some of these special for a certain casino, Treasure Island, and those had Treasure Island um, engraved on them, or whatever, designed on it. This sucker's huge. I mean, this is a two-hander all day long. Now, I believe it's a 30-ounce beer mug, but you could definitely put coffee in there or sweet tea, whatever your flavor of choice is. Hot chocolate, I don't care. Anything will go in there. <laughs> or you can just put it on the shelf because, you know, Halloween is coming up. And the warm and fuzzy months, you know, when you, you want to be warm and fuzzy. And what's more warm and fuzzy other than a blankie than, you know, coffee or hot chocolate? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Not if I kill my phone. Um, Phantom of the Opera. Now, I've never seen, like, the play or anything. But I've read books on it. Um, I read Phantom of the Opera book, which the one I read was fantastic. And I think it was just called The Phantom, but it was based on The Phantom of the Opera. And it was such a good book. And that, so this holds a special place in my heart. The poor fella. I'm, well, when he was younger, the poor fella. He, he got older and was not necessarily the best, best, best person in the world, but not horrible, usually. I guess it depends on which version you're in. <laughs> Let me shut up. Anyway, Phantom of the Opera mug going on eBay. Um, these are both going to go live in October, October 1st. Check out these great coasters. It's Baby Yoda. <laughs> it says Joy to the Galaxy. There's four of them. Um, we've had them for a while, but it's just now coming to the season where it's it's acceptable to buy and post post and buy them, you know. Okay, so I've been noticing some things um, when I look at this crystal or the early American press glass. That uh, see, when you have one symbol or one form of symbolism, it's kind of easy to overlook. Now, for those of you who don't see that, that is the eight pointed star. Um, you do have some with the six-pointed star, but this is the eight-pointed star. I was like, okay, that's, that's very witchy, very pagany. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a design element, right? Of course, the eight-pointed star is a symbolism of worship with the goddess of Venus, um, fertility, love, um, uh, the appearance of like the morning and evening star, that kind of thing. For those of you who never studied. <laughs> but this kind of can't be a coincidence, all things considered. Because there is a triquatra at the bottom of the candy dish with an eight-pointed star in the center. Of course, the triquatra, just like charmed, is the power of three. Um, I've noticed that kind of thing a lot with the early American press glass. And I'm just wondering... I mean, it's very confusing. Now, a lot of geometry was used back in the day. A lot, a lot. Um, symbolizing different things, of course, including music. So, like, certain churches would have these big... Um, originally, they were stained glass cutouts cut directly out of the stone and glass fitted in them. And that sound, uh, that symbol symbolized a sound that would be like when the pipe organ played within the big cathedrals um, or that particular cathedral. <sighs> okay, tell me if I'm on to something or if I'm just way off the mark here. I don't remember if I showed y'all this. This is gorgeous and I can't believe it's still listed. Let's see if I can. I don't want to do it with one hand. Kind of heavy piece, beautiful starfish. Got this great cobalt blue in the middle. Cobalt. <laughs> the um, arms are decorative, to say the least. He's heavy. It's like a paperweight, dude. Gentle, 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 gentle. Careful, 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 careful. There we go. <laughs> that is pretty. I mean, it's just a very, very pretty piece. Excellent. And if you love sea stars, starfish, that's just gorgeous. He is listed. This is another thing I got listed pretty cheap. And actually, it, the profit margins weren't very good because I think we paid three for it. Kind of thought it was going to be worth a little bit more. Um, but it's worth about 12 to $15. And I posted it for 12 Beautiful, though. Great, especially if you love that cobalt blue color. 
it is of course ceramic but um and then this gold print it's it's, it's gorgeous but yeah it, it's listed pretty cheap the last few items i want to show you this week are phenomenal now these i don't think are worth as much as i thought they were going to be they are hobnail but they are clear um i should be able to take them out to the flea market and get five dollars for all of them though and i think i paid two dollars for all of them they just, like I said, they just went not as worth as much as I thought they were. Even after I came home and chiseled all the t the wax and stuff out. Yeah, we're going to try that out and see if they'll sell for $5 at the flea market. This next piece, this uh, glass ashtray, beautiful. Really, really pretty. Only paid 50 cent for it. thought it was going to be worth a little bit, but if it's not worth enough on eBay, then... I mean, I don't see why people do 2 or $3 items on eBay. Because, or especially with free shipping and stuff because you literally make nothing after they're done with taxes and fees and the box and all that so I'm going to take it out to the flea market try to get a couple bucks out of it I paid 50 cents so I mean you know a good ashtray to a smoker is worth 50 cents but this <laughs> while it's pretty it's awesome it's anchor hawking and it turns out that this was a set of four or five that sit inside of a metal rack and they were called party ashtrays so you know and they can sell for four or five dollars on ebay up to ten but uh just not what i thought it was still have not found this red bowl or a match to it nothing with this bell shape this pedestal shape it is hand blown there is a pontal mark on the bottom i got it dirty from sliding it around but it's actually red glass. And some people don't know this, but red glass, when they made it back in the day, it was made with gold. <laughs> I don't know why, but the process required gold. So, yeah. Uh, this could be worth a little or it could be worth a lot. And I'd like to find the actual match or something similar with a, a name or an identification so I could, you know, <laughs> list it properly or sell it properly, you know? Um... I'd really, I, I wish I could do that whole thing with Dr. Lori where you could show her four or five things and talk to her about it. Because she's actually pretty awesome. A little bit gruff, but who ain't sometimes? Don't know if I'm going to list this online or sell it um, at the flea market. I, I have four purple candles in it, but, you know, that's just for looks. I don't know what it's worth. I have no, no idea about it, but it is a four-section candle holder. Very ornate, very pretty. I don't know what it's made out of. If it's resin, it's heavy. Does it necessarily feel ceramic? Aluminum? Or sell ceramic? No, nah, aluminum is very lightweight. Okay. It's got like a metal sheen to it, but I think that's just painted. I don't know. What you guys think? Does, have y'all seen one of these? Y'all know what it is? How much it's worth? Anything? I'd love to know. But I got this Linux picture. I'm getting ready to post that sucker now. But the thing I'm most interested in showing you guys... Ugh, if I don't break it. I've never seen a blown glass bottle with glass blown over it. So, like, literally, they, they, made, they made the clear bottle. Then they blow... Uh, they, they did it again with red glass. It's not cracked. <laughs> it's just kind of the way it's made. Um, it's very interesting. There is definitely... I mean, it's... it's you can tell. It's interesting. And, of course, there is a pontal mark. Uh, uh, the pontal is where the rod was stuck to it when they blew, blew it. And um, they had to cut it away. So you see there's some orange elements. You guys got to calm down. I don't know what's going on tonight, but y'all are driving me nuts. There's even a speck of orange. <laughs> but it's it's super cool. If you guys know anything about that, definitely shout at your girl. I'm going to try to put that on eBay if I can find one similar. But I ain't never seen nothing like it. If you know something about anything that I don't know nothing about, please let me know. Because a lot of this stuff, I see it. It looks really, really cool. But I only know what eBay says about it. Or certain other people. I don't necessarily know what some of it really is or the value of it. And if you see it, you know more about it, let me know. If you see something that's similar to an item you want, let me know. If you see something you actually want, just send me an email and we can work that out. And, uh, you know check it all out <laughs> all right you guys i guess that's enough for me much love many prayers night